Dear friends, welcome to Culinary Hub. Today I am preparing a universal favorite oriental dish, Thai green curry chicken using homemade green curry paste. If you cannot get all the ingredients for this curry, then don't worry because we have certain substitute ingredients that will give you the same taste as the authentic one. To start with, I have taken chicken thighs, garlic, galangal, ginger and roots of coriander leaves, thai green chilies and lime, kaffir lime leaves and two sticks of lemongrass, thai basil, if you don't get this don't worry, you can use spinach, I'll tell you how to go about with this process and few brinjols coriander seeds and cumin seeds white pepper powder, palm sugar and fish sauce instead of fish sauce you can use shrimp paste also salt as per taste chicken stock for cooking the curry and thick coconut milk and very little oil for cooking I have blanched the spinach leaves by dipping it in hot water. I'll be immediately taking it out and dipping it in ice cold water. This retains the green color of spinach. I'm using around 5 to 6 leaves of spinach here. Then I'll start peeling out a thin layer of lime. You can zest it also. Then I have kept galangal, ginger, garlic, green chilies, roots of coriander leaves, kaffir lime leaves ready. I will be adding the cumin seeds followed by coriander seeds. White pepper powder. palm sugar and fish sauce all this I'll grind into a fine paste along with the plant spinach leaves and our Thai green curry paste is ready I have chopped the chicken thighs into bite sized chunks I am heating up a pot adding very little amount of cooking oil followed by adding the green curry paste which I have ground. I will saute it for a minute. To that I will be adding half the amount of thick coconut milk. The flame should be low. After a minute or so it is time to add the chicken stock. Give it a mix. Add the chicken pieces and cook this for around 5 minutes. It's the time to season the chicken curry with the salt. Tear 2 to 3 kaffir lime leaves and put it in the curry. And allow the curry to get simmered for 5 minutes, followed by adding the chopped brinjols. Put the lid on and cook it on a very low flame for around 5 to 8 minutes. Once the brinjols are almost cooked, you can add the other half of the coconut milk. And put the lid on and simmer the curry on low flame for around 5 minutes. And our green curry is ready for serving. I am serving today along with steamed Thai jasmine rice. Please click the like button for this recipe. 
please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get notifications whenever we post new videos. Thank you.